uh, I want to talk to you about um, assessments in dogs, but really what I'm boiling it down to, I'm just going to teach you about um, the, the minutia of dog behavior. Because if you can read um, dog behavior, and I'm not talking about like that's a fearful dog, that's a dominant dog, I'm talking about really small um, behaviors. If you can read those, assessments are easy, no matter what assessment protocol you use. Um, everything I've learned about dog behavior has come from assessing shelter dogs. It's coming, it's coming. Oof, right there. I'll show it to you in slow motion, hang on. Head drops down, front feet come off. So I know, I know right now you're thinking, well, my dog at home does that all the time, and there's nothing wrong with my dog. <gasps> oh, my God, because my dog does that. If, if he ended, I've died, and he ended up at Sue's shelter, my God, that woman would put my dog down just because he pulls on leash like that. How many of you are secretly thinking that? <laughs> hmm? um, how many of your own dogs do that? I have four, and uh, two of them do it lots and lots. Um, and two of mine, I think, did it on their initial temperament test, but they were highly social. Um, why is it a red flag behavior? It, it, um, when you see it correlated with low or no sociability, it's a concern only because the dog is using 100% of his strength to pull away from you, which is fine. Maybe he wants to sniff there. Maybe there's actually, you know, you dropped a treat or something, right? Um, it doesn't really matter. However, if the dog were to be aggressive in his lifetime, and most dogs have aggressive episodes in their lifetime, usually you hope they just growl or snarl or you know, don't do anything major, but most dogs will have something aggressive in their lifetime. Dogs, I think that even just in rest or ignoring, who are willing to put all their strength into pulling away from you, I think are more likely to put more strength into an aggressive display as well. And so you're just slightly more at risk from the dog that pulls as hard as he can away from you over and over again. So here he is, he was arriving for agility class, and i am got my video camera out, so I'm saying hi. And, um, we're saying hi, and she's an exuberant lab mix. And if you look closely, she never anal swipes him. She always keeps her, do you see that? And interesting, they have a wonderful, loving relationship. They are having no problems with her. I mean, they don't consider her sort of exuberance as any sort of an issue. And it's not, but they love her. They don't have any problems. And I just said, there was an unpublished study on a Cessipet, and uh, it saw a correlation between um, the most sociable dogs had the shortest time on the adoption floor. And the less social they were, the longer their average length of stay on the adoption floor, which is critical to your decisions, because the longer they are on your adoption floor, the, um, the more they're likely to deteriorate before you can do anything.